the slide outs are in and you can still use 100% of this motorhome. Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of my favorite top of the line classy motorhomes that you can buy for the year 2024. This is a 2024 Integra Coach Esteem. The model is 29V. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Esteem and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you guys the Integra Coach Esteem 29V, one of the best floor plans in the RV industry. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good. It's a beautiful day here. I'm glad you're back home in Florida. Yes! I bet you are too. Yes! And Matt, it's always a good day when you get to look at an Integra. When we have beautiful weather, we're back in Florida, and I got me an Integra Coach, you know that's a good day. You ready, Andrea? I'm ready. Let's begin. Model is Integra Coach Esteem 29V, Andrea. The actual tip-tip length of this motorhome is 32 feet 6 inches. This is the Integra Coach. Esteem is top of the line. We do have this nice, beautiful, painted fiberglass front cap with a front windshield. It's called a seamless fiberglass front cap, but the seam is actually underneath the motorhome it's less likely to leak that way. This motorhome does come standard with partial body paint, the way that you can see it, but you can option it with the full body paint. This does sit on the E450 chassis, which means it has a 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. And then look at these tires, Dre, they're the hand cook. Dynapro. I love those. LT215-75. R16, 225 Andre, not 215, very nice. Right over here we do have chrome mirrors on both sides with cameras integrated in both of those mirrors. Right here we have a nice little running board to get in the motorhome. And again, check out this, even partial body paint looks fantastic. We do have a nice power awning with LED lights, frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome, and because this is an Integra, it does have the two year warranty, three year structural and it has the easy drive elite system easy drive elite is the computer bound drive shaft with coney shocks you yes, said this Andrea. was a 29v it's a 27u it is a 29v <laughs> and i'm tricking you because they put the wrong sticker on the side ah. but i can assure you okay it's a 29v <laughs> of course you would know i know and i didn't warn you either right here andrea it is an insignia tv on the outside we do have speakers on the outside and we do have these slam latch doors, Andrea. Fiberglass slam latch doors, I love them. With no twisty things, which is nice. No ma'am. Right here's propane and then right here, bing, Miss Jen. Please put all the specs about this motorhome right there for everybody who is watching on television. We do have a Dometic water heater right there. And then right here we have even more storage there. All right, coming on down, Andrea. We have a propane quick connect for the outside in case you want to have a grill. Nice storage right there. And then back here, Andrea, we have even more storage here. Very nice. Then coming around the back, Andrea, we have a 7,500 pound hitch. This motorhome 10 toes, 7,500 pounds. Ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof and a backup camera right there. Finishing up to the driver's side. We have more storage right here. Down below is where you dump your black and gray holding tanks. Very nice. Right here is where you fill up your fuel. Coming on down, we have your outdoor shower, black tank flush city water connection right there. And then coming on down, more storage right there. Right here, it's gonna be the power cord, 30 amp power cord, Andrea. And yes, this does have two AC units, but it is still 30 amp. More storage right there. And then here, Andrea, is your generator. It is an Onan 4000 generator. 
and I love that little air vent right there. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Esteem looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Check out the inside. Cargo carrying capacity, 1,198 pounds. Okay, oh my goodness, look at this. It's so crazy with the slide in. At first I thought you had it out. Yes. But look at that guys, this walkway is incredible. No problem at all. You can definitely open the fridge. Walk back through here. You can use the bed with the slide in. And here is the half bath or the bath. Andrea, this <laughs> bar home is absolutely incredible. The slide outs are in and you can still use 100% of this motorhome. And Andrea, before we get the slide outs out, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Guys, I am in my brand new Delta travel trailer and RVmatches.com, a Brooklyn betting company, makes the absolute best mattresses in the RV industry. When I went on their website, all I did was click this style of mattress that I wanted, which I selected the Aurora because it's the best one, it's the thickest one, and it's the most comfortable. I selected that I have a 60 by 80 queen size bed, and then they shipped it to my house. Guys, RVmattress.com, their factory's based in Arizona. They ship it straight to my house. It was super easy to install in my travel trailer and it comes with a 120 night sleep child guarantee guys if you need a new match for your rv use promo code matt for 25 percent off but not only that they have pillows sheets and weighted blankets and what i loved about using this blanket was that it kept kept me cozy but also didn't suffocate me so i was able to get the air conditioning on top of me guys if you need a new match for your rv Go to rvmatch.com backslash Matt. Let's continue the video. As impressive as this motorhome was when the slide outs were in, when the slide outs are out, Andrea, it is just as big and nice. We're getting started with the front cockpit area. Let's start up front here. All right. Oh man, this feels nice. Andrea, 7.3 liter V8, E series, excuse me, E series chassis. Feels fantastic. We have power windows, power locks, right here Power i'm able mirrors. to uh, adjust my mirrors and then here andre we have a sony screen left side right side and reverse we're able to see andre the godzilla engine drives fantastic here's my view as i'm driving down the road air conditioning usb and usb c here and cup holders here andrea how do you feel in the co-captain seat this is comfortable talk to me this is actually you know because i told you these seats are different right yes yes and it's comfy and i can recline back and i have space which is nice yes and it just feels like you know you're in a regular van or something absolutely i feel like integra does upgrade their seats just so everybody knows both seats do swivel around to become part of living area and we do have a bunk over the cab. Andrea, it holds. 750 pounds. 750 pounds, yes ma'am it does. Makes a really good size bed. You have little cubbies back there, cup holders, and the front power windshield. And when you want it up, it is up. And then when you want it down, all you do is push the other way of the <laughs> button, Andrea. And the power, uh, the power does bring it down. There's also power and USB over there. And here's where your TV is, Andrea. It's an Insignia TV. And just like this, you pull this, and then you're able to angle and adjust your television. And it does have safety straps right here for the kids or for storage when you're driving down the road. And there is privacy right here. Privacy screen right there. Over here, we do have traditional brown storage not the farmhouse look that you get in the integra odyssey okay and then let's check out these valances for the esteem huh valances let's see andre his opinion denied womp 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 all right guys andre you don't like those valances i don't it's just too crazy there's just too crazy with everything going on andrea i think they look fantastic but to, to each, each their, their own. own you can't say that i say that this motorhome does have auto leveling of course and then right here i do have electric recliners here 
cup holders and your remote holder is right here. And then Andrea, that TV does sit up right there. So I would be looking not straight ahead. Adjacent kind yeah, of. Yeah, a little adjacent to where the sofa is. Not the biggest deal in the world, not the smallest deal in the world. Just it is how it is right here. And then next to me, Andrea, is a dinette. Now this dinette does have car seat tethers right here. Okay, really nice dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. You got your cup holders here. No daytime blinds, but you do have privacy blinds right here. And then the windows do, since they're the frameless windows, they do flip open out just a little bit. And um, that way you can let some nice air in. And let's see if there is storage underneath this dinette. We also have the car seat tethers right here. Yes. And we should have it on both sides. Check this out. With the piano hinges, Andrea, we have very nice storage underneath there. How do you like them apples? I love those apples. Those are some good, tasty <laughs> apples, Andrea. All right, Miss Andrea, show us this beautiful kitchen. All right, I'm going to start over here. Well, actually, I'm going to start here. There was something right there above the door. And over here, we have a cabinet with a shelf. Okay. Another one. Yes. And then another one. Yes. Got a window in here, which is nice. Also solid surface countertop in here. Very nice. LED lights. Got a drawer there. Yes, ma'am. A drawer here. And then a bigger drawer down there. Very nice. And then we have a double sink here. As you can see, it has a nice extension. Yes. Plenty of counter space. And then under the sink, we have more storage. Wow. That's good space for a trash can. Really is. We've got some more drawers. And this one should be bigger. Yes, ma'am. And then over here, we've got another cabinet. Okay. A high point microwave. Good size. Yes, very nice. Oh, they continue with the same backsplash. You're not a fan of the snowflakes? It's okay. I'm just, you know, it's, it's time for a change. Okay. We've got a three burner Furion propane cooktop. Very nice. An oven, which is good. Good, good. And then this huge residential refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. Like, this is humongous. I don't even know who the maker is. It's very nice. It's a Furion refrigerator, Andrea. Is it? And it look is. how big and yeah. spacious that is. Love it. Yes, ma'am. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. Andrea, you ready for this? MSRP on this motorhome here, stock number 288722, is $188,185. Andrea, MSRP. Sale price, we have it 31% off to a sale price of $129,995. Andrea, that is a phenomenal price, especially at 31% off for a 2024. But Andrea, guess what? I know we can get everybody an even better price than that. All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from Matt's RVRVs.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, Andrea, and a member of my team will reach back out to you guys, and they will get you one thing and one thing only. And Andrea, do you know what that is? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea? Let's show everybody this bathroom. So we've got a split bathroom right here. Yes. Big step up into the shower. Yes. But Andrea, it's a 30 by 36 shower. We have a nice hanging bar here. That's really, really nice. Tons of space in here. And we do have this glass door to make it fit in the shower. And check out this bathroom. So there are that door magnets. So you have privacy. Yes. And then here's your uh, medicine cabinet. Really yes. Big. Very nice. Nice big medicine cabinet right here. Good sink area. Nice storage below the medicine cabinet. And then what's this in here? Oh, liquefied. Our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle. You can get it online and in stores at your local General RV. Matt, you missed some drawers right there. Ah, I didn't see those. Very nice drawers. Very nice drawers. 
and then I'll drain it. This is a porcelain toilet. And you see how it's kind of on a weird angle? This is very weird, but you know what it is? This is a prime poop position. Bing! Again, I'd rather have it cockeyed a little bit and give me tons of space in here. I really, really like what they got going on in here. And then finishing up into the master bedroom. Uh-oh. Queen size bed. Accordion door. Yes, accordion door. Queen size bed. Andre, look at what's on both sides of the bed. We do have little pogs of power there. Very good. We have storage above, if you could show everybody. All right. Little bit of storage there. What is real nice about this bed is you can still use it with the slide out in, okay? Let's see. There oh, is some storage. Wow, it goes to the outside. Yes, ma'am, that you do access from the outside. The USBs are over there. And then we have very nice storage that here. That is a humongous wardrobe. Storage here. Here's where a TV would go. Look at that. That's really good. Yes. Okay, we got a drawer there. Another drawer and two big drawers. Yes. Right there and here. And then under, yes, we have two more. Very nice. Yes. Andrea, just a fantastic motorhome at a fantastic price. And guess what? That's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things that I love about one of my favorite motorhomes and three things that I dislike about it. Andrea, what do you want to do first? Let's do three things we like about it first. First? Yeah, let's switch it up. All right. Um, like number one, if you don't mind, I'd like to go first. I'm going to save this bathroom, Andrea. One, I, I'm not a huge fan of split baths, but they did it the right way. That's what I'm saying. Nice big 30 by 36 shower. Nice spacious bathroom with that porcelain toilet on the angle, which makes it a prime poop position. Andrea, that is fan freaking tastic. That is like number one. Andrea, what's like number two? Okay, like number two for me is going to be, I love that window up there. Talk to me. With the shade. That is like iconic for Integra. Yes. And you don't see that a lot on C's. Okay. But I love the natural light it gives and it just it just makes it more bright in here. And to give you a bunk over the cab that holds yes. 750 pounds. That is fan freaking fantastic. That is like number two. And then Andrea, like number three has to be this motor home with the slide out yes. thing. When this motor home has the slide outs in, it is still spacious and you can still use 99% of the whole thing in an RV life. That's huge because guess what, Andrea? It's not if something goes wrong, it's when something goes wrong. And let's say your slide outs break on this motor home. It's not ruining your camping trip because you can still use the whole entire thing. Andrea, that's three things. We love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. And my first one's actually on the outside. Andre, dislike number one for me. I don't like all these external connections here. I could have sworn Integra, even the Class C's, had it all enclosed, didn't they? Or... It was like one year they did that. I'm not even sure. But... It was like it was like right around COVID or right after they were enclosing it. I don't remember. Here's what I do know. I don't like them all exposed like this. I don't care if they've always done it this way or never done it this way. That's dislike number one for me on this unit. Andrea, what's dislike number two? I gotta go here again. No designated pantry. Yes. I, you know, that's really important to me, especially when I'm camping is okay. to have a pantry. Yes. So yeah, that's my dislike. Now, Andrea, this actually has the bigger fridge as the upgrade. Um, so standard, it does come with a pantry and a smaller fridge. But again, I love this bigger fridge, especially in the steam. And I would have liked to see a pantry myself. That's just like number two. And then Andre, dislike number three for me. It's going to be this small TV. Not only that, with the TV being in that bunk over the cab that you need to angle out. It's not ideal for me. And then not only that, these theater seats are a little stiff. You know what I'm saying? Um, but over time, it will work itself in. And, you know, just when when it's a motorhome this simple but this nice, it is hard for us to find dislikes. So that's just going to be my dislike number three. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in getting the best price in America on this Integra or any Integra, all you got to do is click my link down below. Go to generalrv.com slash matscash 
We've linked it down below. You guys can get there from our website, mattsrvreviews.com, or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, and a member of our team will help you guys get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Integra does read the comments, and they do watch the videos, you guys, so please leave your feedback. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching, and Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time.